How do you think your play calling did you win? I felt like we, we, we made plays and we had opportunities to make plays. I mean, you guys got a chance to see LaVisca Chenault, and, and uh, he's an impressive athlete, and he, he makes plays when you put it in his hands. I thought Steven operated the offense at a high level. Um, he's taken a step forward. I think Coach Roper's done a good job with him. And then Katie Nixon is another guy that you saw today. You know, it was crazy. I, we recruited those kids from the same high school, and uh, they just showed what they're about. I, I was excited for the offensive line. I thought they did a great job. Of, of block and zone, block and split zone. Um, when we had to get a yard, we got four or five. So it was, that was impressive with our offensive line. It was uh, Philip Lindsay and Global leading a lot of uh, people kind of questioning the playmakers of this offense. And I think they should have showed up tonight. Your thoughts on uh, number two and number three again? Yeah. I, surprised? I wasn't surprised at all. I think, you know, I was able to recruit those guys a couple of years ago, and, and I was really impressed with them when I saw them in high school. I mean, physically gifted, but also they have dog mentality in them, and they want to play football. Like, I love that about – that's what I loved about Philip Lindsay. I mean, Philip Lindsay has dog mentality. That's why he made the Broncos squad. I mean, he earned that. And these kids, these kids – I mean, they're true sophomores, LaVisca Chenault and, and Katie Nixon, and they played like juniors and seniors today. It was, it was impressive. Yeah, he's impressive. Yeah, I think um, when you have good skill, you want to try to put them in space and, and let them do what they do. And, you know, today we were able to kind of get the ball in space quickly and allow LaVisca to do some things, allow KD. And, 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 and what we didn't see today is Jawan Winfrey's a heck of a football player. And he, he made a nice play on that fade ball. But there's another guy you're going to see. He, he has a big part of this offense. Just today, you know, number two and number three were getting a lot of catches. So it's just the way it goes sometimes. But Jawan Winfrey's a name that people are going to uh, hear about a lot too. Yeah, I think, you know, as a football coach, you know, you don't just say, hey, these are my plays and let's run these plays. You know, I think what you have to do as a play caller, what you have to do as a coordinator, find out who your best players are and then how do you get the ball to them consistently in space where they can do what they do because they're God-gifted athletes. I think that's our job as coaches. I think sometimes we get pigeonholed like, hey, I want to run this. This is what works. No, it's the players that work. And so I think I try to cater the offense that way. And, and Coach Adams does a really good job with our run game stuff too. So it's a, it's a, it's a full group effort for us. Well, you know, I, you know, I know they had a new defensive coordinator, and um, I, I think they've recruited well, in my opinion. I, I honestly do. And I think it's just a matter of, I think right now, I saw last week against Hawaii, they were trying to do a lot of stuff on defense. I, th I thought this week they'd be scaled back a little bit, and they were. I think we were just, we were really explosive today on offense, and we were moving the ball quickly, and we were getting big chunks. You know, I saw the total numbers. I, we didn't run a bunch of plays today. But we had a lot of yards. We were we were we were explosive, and you want that's what you want to see from your offense. Can we get big chunks when we need them to get them? And you know we were able to do that. Yeah, I mean that's how we practice. I mean, Coach Coach McIntyre does a great job of of putting me in situations as a play caller. And then we also we obviously want to get tempo going. But the way you get tempo going is you got to get first downs. And we were able to do that in the first drive. And you know, two years ago, I don't know if Montez would have been able to outrun the defense. You know, he's in better shape. Coach Max preached that to to Stephen about staying in shape, keeping his weight under control. And he he played a really good football game. He made a couple mistakes, but. I'm not sure what he was, but he was like, I think he was 20 of 22 or something crazy, which he did a good job operating the offense at a high level, and that's what we want from our quarterback. 22 of 25. 22 of 25. So Coach Max got it. And, and, and what's, what I like about Coach Mack, too, is he allows me to be aggressive. Like, we, we took a shot and we turned it over, but Coach Mack got right back on the headset and said, hey, Chef, keep being aggressive. So you want that from your head coach, to, to allow you to be aggressive as a play caller, allow you to attack a defense, and we got the skillful athletes to do that. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.